In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create fake window reflection using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output and this is the image that we will start working on and this is the final goal. Okay, now to create this effect, let's go here. So this is the original file here. Uh, first thing I would like to do is double click here and unlock the background. Then let's make the skin a little bit brighter. So for that, I'm gonna go to my adjustment layer, get curves and make it a little bit brighter from here uh, and can go and close it. Now I only want the skin brighter. So I'm gonna select my mask and then press Ctrl I. So everything is hidden. Then I will get my brush tool. I will get my white color from here and make sure opacity is 100%. Right click and make sure hardness is 0%. Then go and paint only on skin. So now as you can see it will only show up on the skin. After that let's add the glass texture. So for that go to file, place and select the glass texture that you downloaded. It's a window texture actually so go and place it. After that go and change this layer's blend mode to lighten and change the opacity to 20%. So as you can see it has already started taking shape. Uh, now let's add the reflection. So for that go to file, place and select the building image. Go and place it. I'm gonna go confirm it uh, and also change this layer's blending mode to lighten as you can see here and in the opacity this time you will make it 30% so as you can see now it looks like there is a reflection of building on this glass texture but as you can see the model image is way too faded so to add in a little bit more contrast I'm gonna go to my adjustment layer and get a selective colors and in the selective colors first I will go to my whites and I will remove a lot of it so I'm gonna make it somewhere around like minus 50 uh, let's try a little bit more okay after that I'm gonna go to my neutrals and then I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast so I'm gonna go and make it somewhere around like let's say 19 uh, and after that I'm gonna go to my blacks and I'm gonna make it minus 3 okay so now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, we have a lot more contrast on the model. But now I want to remove this effect a little bit from here because it's way too overexposed. For that, I'm going to go and get my brush tool with black color. But in the opacity, I'm going to change it to somewhere around like 20-30%. And in the layer mask, I will uh, remove it with black color. So it's a little bit less effective there. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it looks better. Now go and close it. Now let's add a color tint to the window. For that, go to your adjustment layer and get a channel mixer. In the channel mixer, uh, make sure you have red channel active here. And in the red, I'm gonna go and make it 123. And in the blue channel, I'm gonna make it minus 42. If you are working with different image, you might have to change the numbers a little bit. So keep that in mind. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, we have this really nice blue tint on the window and orange tint on skin. So now I'm gonna go and close it. Now as you can see here, because we applied a lot of adjustments, this portion of the skin has become completely orange. So to fix that, I'm gonna go to my adjustment layer and get a hue saturation. And first of all, I'm gonna go and reduce the saturation a lot, like somewhere on like minus 60-70%. I'm only focusing on this portion of skin. Then I'm gonna go and close it. Now activate your layer mask here and press Ctrl I. So all the effect is hidden right now, then get your brush tool. And since we want to bring it back, I'm going to go and change to white color and I will start painting here and also make sure opacity is 100% and then paint where you think the skin has become orange. So as you can see now if I turn it on and off it makes really big difference uh, and now you can also go and reduce the opacity if you want to bring a little bit of colors back it's up to you. So I'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around like let's say 90% okay looks fine. And now for the final step I wanna make colors pop a little bit so for that I'm gonna go to my adjustment layer select vibrance and here I'm gonna go and make it you know somewhere around like uh, let's say 40-50% 60 looks fine. Okay, so 77% looks good, um, but I don't want this effect on the skin. I want to keep it natural. So I'm going to remove it using my layer mask. So activate the mask here, get the brush uh, and in the color, make sure it is black and then go and remove it from the skin. Uh, 
Okay, so effect is done here, but I forgot one important step. So for that, activate your building layer as you can see here. Now reflection on the window, it will be a little bit blurry because model is in the focus. So to do that, go to make sure your building layer is active. Go to filter, blur, and go and select Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian blur, I'm gonna go and apply 15 pixel. Now it works for this image. If you try a different image, numbers might be different. Okay, so I'm gonna go and hit okay. Also, you can do one more thing to add a little bit more depth in the image. So for that, go and create a new blank layer and make sure this layer is under all your color correction. So I'm gonna now get a brush tool and my color will be black. And in the opacity, make it somewhere around like 20%. Okay, that's fine. And now paint here with a really soft brush. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it gives it a little bit more depth and the effect is done here. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, ask me in comment section below. And if you are new here, click on any of these boxes to check out more tutorials by me and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.